Hello guys, welcome to another Power Factory Dixieland tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be taking a look at the power quality studies and harmonic analysis in Power Factory software. So, let us open an example of Dixieland to do the harmonic analysis. And this time, I am going to open a wind farm system. If you like to know more about the base model and reactive power capability of the wind farm, you can check the video clips and PDFs which were provided by Power Factory Software. Let's open the network model. Here you will see the line diagram of a 15 megawatt wind farm, which contains six individual wind turbines with fully rated converters connected to a 20 kV distribution network system. To reach into all harmonic toolbars from the change toolbox, click on harmonic power quality. Then you can reach all toolbars related to the harmonic power quality. Or you can bring them from the calculation. Generally, the Power Factory software divided the harmonics calculation into two parts. One is the calculate harmonic load flow and the other is calculate impedance frequency characteristics. By using the calculation of the harmonic load flow and impedance frequency characteristics, we can activate this icon. Before performing power quality and harmonic analysis, it is needed that all the elements in the network system must model accurately. And all the harmonic models and generally the nonlinear loads should be determined. It is also needed to determine the exact model of the elements such as the wind turbine which feeds harmonics to the network system. Harmonics are basically the distortions in power system caused by nonlinear type loads which draw non-sinusoidal currents or voltages. Let us put a general load to one of our bus bar to model and define the harmonic distortions. And double click it. If you look at to the power rate of this generator, we can see that it produces 2.5 megawatt active power. Assume 1 megawatt active power for our general load and change input mode to P dot cosify and enter 0 0.9 for power factor. If we enter to the harmonic power quality, we can only define these parameters but the option for harmonic current injections are disabled because the load is modeled as impedance. Generally, the load can be defined in different types. One of these types are constant impedance, constant currents, and constant power. When it is modeled as constant impedance, we don't have any control on rate of current flowing through the system. When it is modeled as current source, we can determine the rate of current flowing through the system. In order to define it as a current source from the basic data tab, define a new project type. Now we can define our load as voltage dependence P and voltage dependence of reactive power Q based on parameters provided here. Let me give you a brief information about these characteristics which are variable from our loads. From the design manual, click on help, select user manual, and search load type.
in voltage dependency of loads you will see the equation of voltage dependence of active power and reactive power these are the equation of the general type of loads as you see here and the coefficient AP, BP, EAP, EBP and ECP are the same as the coefficient of our load type as you can notice here you can also see the coefficient of the reactive power if we put A and B equal to zero in these equations there will not be defined any voltage dependence of P and Q for our loads if you have a load that the active power and reactive power flow through the system depends on voltage then you can define this coefficient accordingly from the harmonic power quality we can define the model of our load there are three types of model impedance model 1 current source and impedance model 2 put it on current source click ok now if you open harmonic power quality tab we will notice that the harmonic current injection is enabled in order to define a harmonic current injections we need to define a harmonic current type now we can determine the type of our harmonic source as balanced unbalanced and the standard IEC 61000 and in this example put it on balance type right click here to define the order of harmonic source suppose 80 percent of nominal current for harmonic 5 7 persons for 7 harmonic 50 persons for 11 40 persons for 13 and 15 persons for 17 harmonic no need to change the phases click ok since we define the type the data are reseated select p dot codify for input mode 1 megawatt for active power and 0 0.9 for power factor click ok to calculate our harmonics click on calculate harmonic load flow and change the harmonic order to 5 then execute it from the output window you can notice that the calculation was started from the harmonic load flow and it continues until the harmonic analysis completed one thing that I want to tell about loads before taking a look at the analysis of harmonic results double click from the harmonic power quality if you enter to the harmonic current source you will notice that the order of harmonics are defined as 5 7 11 13 and 17 and there is not a third harmonics and also even harmonics because it is a three symmetrical phases from the basic data you can see that our system is defined as a three phase the reason that why there is not any even harmonic is because our load is passive and there is not connected any static generator to our load if we define the type of our load as and unbalanced that time we will see both the third and also even harmonics in our system select unbalanced phase current then define the harmonic orders here you can define whatever the order of harmonics you want for example we can enter two three uh, five uh, seven 
and 9. For the percentage of harmonics, let us enter 100 for the first harmonic, uh, then 20, uh, 10, 80, uh, 60, uh, and 30. Suppose the same percentage value for these columns. And put zero for the phase degrees. Click OK. And calculate harmonic load flow. As you see, there is an error about general load. It says that zero sequence harmonics are not considered by balanced harmonic calculation. Therefore, current injections at the following harmonics order will be ignored, such as 3, as we discussed already that for the balanced harmonic network, the third harmonic will not be defined, because the network representation was unbalanced. So, change the network representation to unbalanced 3-phase ABC and execute it. And now the error is eliminated. If you return back to the single line diagram and zoom it, you will see some values in the result box that they are related to THD or total harmonic distortions, HD or harmonic distortions, and the voltage at phase A which are represented as percentage. Now we have done the harmonic load distortions on our network system. It is time to see the results of this harmonic load distribution and analyze it. One way is using the result box and you can also add more parameters the same as we did in the load flow calculation part. If you want to get more information about the harmonic distortion results and the equation behind that, you can check Power Factor software manual. In the harmonic load flow, you can find explanation and equations about harmonic distortions or THD total harmonic distortions and the other parameters. In addition to this result box, we can also have a report from the output calculation analysis. The first report is on bus bar and brains. If we calculate it from the output, uh, you see all the result based on bus bars and brains. Here you can see the distortion harmonics total distortion harmonics, base voltage, rated voltage, current, and the power. The other reports that we can take it is related to bus bars and terminals. Here you can see the rated voltage, bus voltage, and distortions. The other reports that you can see here is filter layout and filter results. They can be done when a filter is installed on our system and we will discuss about them in our filter parts. Uh, that would be enough for this tutorial. And then if you are interested to know more about the harmonic analysis, please check the next video.